we've seen folks in tents and tarps just here on 17th recently um, throughout the core and surrounding areas of the city. So if that's sort of our example of what we see in winter, we can only expect that we will, uh, of course, see much more in, in spring and summer. The weather is getting warmer and it's only a matter of time. Encampments with people experiencing homelessness start to appear on different areas of the city. A growing concern in many Canadian cities. We know that uh, folks will tell us that they're afraid to stay in shelters. They have a safety concern. But the director of emergency shelter and housing at the Calgary Drop-in Centre says it's pretty unlikely we'll see scenes like we did recently in Vancouver. You know, all through the winter, we've never, our shelter system in Calgary has not been full. Um, so we always have beds for individuals where a lot of other municipalities don't have enough shelter beds. However, one new concern is an increase in homelessness with newcomers. We're seeing uh, immigrants and people of color um, be becoming a larger portion. Uh, we're seeing less Caucasian um, and primarily indigenous always have been over overrepresented. Um, people of color and we've had Ukrainian refugees. I don't know how this is happening. They say the lack of affordable housing is one of the main factors. We recently started doing a prevention program and um, it's been that team's been incredibly busy um, because we're seeing and hearing reports of, you know, three, four or five hundred dollar rent increases. Um, and that that type of increase affects everybody in the city. Cha says the cost of maintaining a person in homelessness is approximately eighty seven thousand dollars, according to the University of Calgary. And to give a person housing and support is about half. I think we're all, you know, sort of running around here as a city trying to put band-aids on these things that really require stitching and that stitching is housing that is under provincial jurisdiction um, and federal jurisdiction. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.